A Kambi will release tomorrow. Hope this video help you decide summon or not. Let's get our free stuff. My build will be different than this one. This build is summon Shadow Assassin. Shadow Assassin can attack but low HP. Shadow Assassin will gone after some turn. Can be used as decoy. Time to summon. Woo, what is this? Jackpot, baby. I will stop here. After test, I will share my thought. A Kambi need NRG a lot, if you can't make him 3 star better skip. 3 star will give more NRG every turn. Pick. 
Pick right side for extra skill. Hold. Tamesu kachi ga ari sou da. Kono toshi. Kono toshi. This one important. Left side. Hold. Tamesu kachi ga ari. Kono toshi. Kanarazu koukai. Left side better, use summon unit as decoy. Hold. Right side skill is the best. This is signature skill. Pick right side to boost damage next turn. Hold. This one is left one oh oh, because my Akambi is AOE build. Weapon use this for AOE boost. Trinket I'm using this, or other that increase magic damage. Tarot using this one. This is the result, maybe you can try sword cut, I don't have it. For Tara, aim increase damage or magic attack. Basic skill increase next damage. More using upper skill to draw enemy and then AOE. This is first AOE skill. And this is the best AoE skill that also summon a season. Now time to test a Kambi with best team. Test it on chapter 7 boss. Only using for slot unit. If you have Edda can use it. You can slow down YouTube video speed. I'm using all buff. Using basic skill first. Don't worry, next AoE is insane. Oh, 
Time to nuke. For me, I think it's skip if can't get 3 star. If you have Edda and magical unit can think about a Kambi. I will save more summon for next Safia. Please share this content, like or subscribe it you think this guide help.